Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an ignition coil in a 2004 Chrysler Sebring sedan. It's got the 2.7 liter V6 engine. For this repair, you'll need a new ignition coil from 1A Auto, as well as an 8mm socket and ratchet. Here's an engine cylinder diagram for the 2.7 liter V6, so if you have an engine code for a uh, cylinder number 2 or cylinder number 5 uh, misfire, that very well could be a bad coil. In this video, we're going to be doing cylinder number 2. Go ahead and locate your ignition coil packs. That's 2, 4, 6, and on the back side, it's 1, 3, and 5 on the end right there. So we're going to be doing ignition coil number two and we're going to first push down on the tab for the connector and pull that free, set it aside, and then take your eight millimeter socket and ratchet and start to unscrew the two screws that hold it in place. I'll fast forward as I do that. Now that those screws out you can go ahead and pull out your ignition coil. And replacing the coil with a new coil from 1A Auto you can see it goes right in Use the same screws to fasten it down, put them in by hand first, and tighten them up. And after that, just reconnect. And all the other coils are the exact same. And the rear ones are just a little bit tougher to get to. You may have to use a 10 millimeter wrench rather than a socket and ratchet. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.